Welcome back guys to another GTA video and in today's one we are going to be completing the Clucking Bell Raid Career Progress and this will be my final one thankfully. So jumping in and having a look at each of the individual tiers, tier 1 all you need to do is steal the setup funds for the Clucking Bell Raid. Tier 2 is to complete the full mission once and then complete any setup without dying. Tier 3 is to complete the final mission scene of the crime without being spotted and to complete it with both the stealth and the aggressive approaches. And then finally we have tier 4, so as you can see I only need 166,000 to complete the tier 4 requirements. You also need to complete it for in less than 45 minutes, I did a video on that the other day. And you do need to complete scene of the crime using all of the guns, armour and vehicles. So jumping on back into the final mission and on this one I have in fact got Venom helping me out or rather I'm kind of helping him out as he does still need to complete the setup without getting spotted. So I'll let him jump into this one and we cracked on with it. Taking out all the guards stealthily without being detected is fairly straightforward. Just take your time, there is absolutely no need to rush on this one and then Venom comes in with a final kill on that last guard. We head back towards the key and I point out where the key is for the office door for him. While he's away doing that, I'm going to head downstairs and collect all the product from both of the lockups. Now, be careful when you do go downstairs as there are still guards in these lockups that you do need to take out. But once again, they are straightforward enough, no need to rush. Jumping in to co collect the product itself, it's always the two that is furthest away from the door. So now that you know that, you don't need to go round about opening up all four crates. Just collect two products from the two crates that are furthest away. But once the first area has been cleaned out, we can head down to the second area. Down here there is one guard and two workers that we need to take out and they are fairly easy to take out. But once that's done, we can go ahead and collect all the product from the four areas that are down here. Once that's all collected, we can head back upstairs and see what progress Venom is making. And he has just actually collected from the safe, so it's time to make our escape. We quite simply shoot out the electrical box here and wait for this door to open. Now, they should have, they should have allowed us the animation. You can't actually just roll under the door. You need to wait until that door's fully open, unfortunately. That would be nice if you could roll under it. But I take out these two guards, these first two guards you don't actually need to take out. It's the one round here that you need to concentrate on. So I've got the one guard just behind the car there. And then you've got a couple of guards on the far side. I get very lucky there with that guard not wanting to die with a headshot. But moving on, we've got the guy at the bin and then we've got um, two guys at the back here. We've actually got three that we need to take out and this is where most people make the mistake. They'll take out these two guys here and then go to the garage. What you do need to do is take out the guard that's walking behind the two Bensons. If he walks round before you make your escape, he will spot the dead bodies that are lying right there. Once you've done that, jump in the car and all I'm doing here is just double checking the map to make sure the red circles still have their cones of vision, which they do, which means we have completed it without being spotted. If those red dots don't have the cones of vision, it means you've failed and you've been detected. So if that happens, just quit out and restart. But here we are heading down the road, just outside Harmony and we are losing the cops right now and it's an easy drive all the way back to Vincent's lockup. And with that, that is it. Mission complete and also career progress complete. Coming out of the cutscene, just waiting for that pop-up on the bottom left corner. And there it is. Earned five million from the clock and bell raid. So jumping in, we can then go ahead and claim all the rewards, which are the 5,000 RP, the 150,000 GTA dollars, and that clock and bell outfit. Now, having a look at the full career progress, I do only need one more adversary mode. 
Now there were three that were released this week, but unfortunately I had already did one of them, so I still have one outstanding before I can collect that CG outfit. But there you have it guys, the Clock and Bell outfit. I'm glad it wasn't the same Clock and Bell hoodie that they released to GTA Plus players last year. But there you have it guys, that is it from me for today. Just one last thing, I want to say a huge shout out to Nodex and Greyguts who did in fact collect their CG outfits early on Saturday morning. But that is it from me for today guys. If you did enjoy today's video, do leave a like. And if you are new here, why not consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.